Were you here when that strike happened in the 30s? Uh, I'd have to be here in the 30s. Yeah, do you yeah. remember that at all, that strike that happened during the before, Depression? Uh, maybe it was before I got back here. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, this is one in 1917, though. You remember that strike? Oh, yeah. Well, tell us about that. What was that all about? Well, it's just the same as the rest of them. They were looking for a raise in wages. And we were down on East Park Street at that time. And I remember one day uh, a gunman, he saw somebody and he, he started firing shots after him. And the guy ran up Oklahoma Street, actually got away anyway, where he was. But you know that the and the kind of company put spotlights on all the them big gallus friends here in Butte. Uh, do you remember them? I knew they had done that. Did they use them? Did they use them? That you you walk along the street and they put the light on you and you keep it on you walk along the street or in your yard or anywhere. And they kept that up, kept it up until the, the airplanes started to come in here. Oh. And when when the planes come in here, the planes kicked that the the lights they couldn't land with the lights from them from the gallus frames, so the the government told them to shut them down. What did what did the people call those lights? Was there a nickname for them or a no, I don't just know. they were just spotlights? Huh? Spotlights, yeah. And were there men uh, with the lights that there had guns? I don't know who was up there. I couldn't tell you who was up there. It looks like there's still something in the Belmont up on top there. Uh -huh. Do you remember? Uh, do you remember anything else about the gunmen? Did you see anything, or any, know any of them? Or? Uh, no, I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't know any. That either. that building that's uh, right across the street from the uh, on Court Street and, and on Court Street in Maine, there's a building, the old Tuttle where a uh, hardware store. Now, did they? Do you know if they? kept their guns back there? Did you know anything about that? I don't know. That, that was the, the ACM hardware in my time, you know. Yeah. That's where, where Mark is in now. You know, payroll office? Yeah. It's but you don't know if they had guns in there? I don't know if they had guns in there, but they had the, let's see, the, the government had, uh, in the WPA, they had them uh, working on clothes in there to give out to the poor people. Well, in 1917, do you remember the soldiers coming to town? Oh, I was here, right here watching. What, do you, what do you remember about the soldiers? Well, they were, they were, they had, well, they were, they, were, they must have been old guys from farms and stuff, you know, they, they weren't much of us soldiers. They were, they were, they weren't uh, government soldiers, they, they were the militia. Well, now, there were several times, like the, the summer, the fall that the Miner Union Hall blew up, the militia came to town, yeah. and there was martial law. You remember that? Yeah, yeah I remember that. You remember the Gatling guns over by the courthouse? Yeah. And wh where did they camp? They were there. They were living then, and, they, and, and, and the, they moved into the old courthouse that was empty, you know, before the county jail was put in there. Okay. The county jail was in, in the yard right below that. Between that and the, and, the, and, the, and the club. And so when men were arrested, they were kept in that jail there? When they arrested I don't know what they did with them, I couldn't okay. say. Do you remember seeing those soldiers marching? Oh, yeah. And they're prating around with bayonets that they stabbed the miners with, you know. They did? They had them bayonets on the end of their... The, the, you know what the bayonets are? They had them on the ends of their guns there praying around every day. And that was in that summer of 1914? Yeah. Now, and they were down in the, in, the, in the big ship after that. Well, now, that summer or, or later on during the First World War? Right, that, was, that was a different time. Okay, well, the, now, now a different time during the First World War. Do you remember the soldiers then? Is that is that the ones that you said look like farmers? And, uh, well, they, they, that's all they, they, they were. You know, from, they come in from. They didn't. They weren't. They weren't tra trained army soldiers. Do you remember if they were called the Washington Coast Artillery? No, they didn't have any. They like didn't that, have a no, name. No. They were just the militia. Well, do you and, and the governor over there was Sam Stewart, and they called him Militia Sam. 
uh -huh. because all that they had to do here in, in Butte was if they went out, on, the miners went out on strike, the SCM, all they had to do was th uh, burn some shack in the, in the yard, you know, and then they'd call up with the militia. Well, do you remember when uh, Omar, Captain Omar Bradley came to town with those regular soldiers? Do you remember that at all? No. You don't remember him? Do you remember, don't remember uh, Captain Bradley? No. Okay. Do you remember any incidents at all with soldiers? Confrontations no. between miners and soldiers? Well, the one, one thing that was going on here during World War I, uh, they were selling the government bonds that time, they were supposed to support the government and uh, I don't know who they were but they'd, they'd, they'd go up to the mine and they'd, the miners would go to get on the cage and they'd say did you get a bond this month and no I couldn't afford to well you can go home then and they'd, they'd pull the guy off of the cage and he'd, he'd go home the soldiers would do that I don't know who oh, they were somebody did. Huh. Might be Pinkertons or somebody. I don't know. Did you did you ever have any dealings with Pinkertons? No, never had any dealings with them. No. I never I never went down to Butte Mine. Yeah. Well, uh, after it, in the '60s in Butte, what were you doing here? Were you retired by 1960? In '62, I retired. Yeah, from from, from the eight, working eight hours. I, I was. I'd worked, uh, I, I, I worked uh, 11 years for the telephone company. I was the, the building mechanic, they called me. Now if they want to put a light bulb in, they'll have to call the building mechanic from, uh, from Helena. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you remember when the fire started here in Butte, when the buildings started burning down? Oh, yeah, they, all the time there were buildings burning down in Butte. Did you... Do you remember any specific building that burnt down? Anything that stands yeah, out in your mind? Especially the Butte, the Butte High there was a bad one. Butte High? The Butte High School, yeah. It was up on Wyoming Street, and uh, somebody threw something, lighted something, lighted into a chute in, in, the, in the Butte High, you know, and it took off. And boy, that uh, when a, when the floor and that collapsed them sparks it had go all over the town and fall down up on Wyoming Street where we were up there. Well was that now was that the old girl central? That's the girl central. Yeah, yeah. the old mattress factory up there. That one. No then well, now where was that exactly? That was up right up here in the corner of Park Street and the Beard High was up there. It used to be on all our Right, and that's the, the picture in the front of it, you know. Oh, okay. The Butte, Butte High. Okay. And then we voted not to put that Butte High over on top of the MLH, but they, they built it there anyway, and the, the floors were breaking up there after they got it built. I see. Well, did, <laughs> did you ever, did, did people ever talk about why there were so many fires? Oh, yeah. What did they think? What, well, what was they the had feeling. The company had firebugs here, you know. Did you know that for a fact, or people just thought that? Well, they, 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 one, one fellow said, he said, I could go into the m and there and point out the firebug. You didn't know hear his name, did you? No. Uh, did one, one of them got uh, a firebug up on, on the Anaconda Road there. He was in, I don't know who he was working for. He, he was, I don't think he was working for the company, but he was a firebug. And anyway, he... He set the fire there in the Anaconda Road and in the house, and before he got out, the goddamn thing blew up and, and he got killed. Huh. What year was that about? about Gosh, I don't know. I don't remember. Well, did, you, did people ever wonder why no one investigated the fires? They, you know, why there was no arson investigations? That, you know? No, they, they never investigated hardly anything in Butte. They got away with murders, murder after murder in Butte. Do you have any idea why? I don't know. So well, sometimes the, the sometimes there was people in on it where it was planned up on the sixth floor, and the police and them would be in on, on it. Did you 
did anybody, how did you know, how do you know that? Did you just think that was the case, or do you know that? I mean, do you know people that were involved? Well, I, I wouldn't name anybody yeah. that was involved in it.